Where? Oh, okay. these, these will do. Okay. All right. Uh, this right here is milk of magnesia. I don't know if you've ever used this or not. Uh, it's an antacid. Okay, so that means it's a what? It's a base, right? Antiacid is a base. Okay. Uh, if you look at it and read the uh, ingredients here. It's a saturated solution of magnesium hydroxide. Okay? Magnesium hydroxide. Okay. So I'm going to pour just a little bit of it in here. If you got a tummy ache, okay? If you have too much acid built up in your tummy or in your esophagus, if you have heartburn, okay? This is a base that's going to soothe it. All right, so it's, it's uh, disgusting looking, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to add, actually, I have some water right here. I'm going to add some water to it, water it down. Okay. And let me see if I can stir some of it a little bit. It's still very, very cloudy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it's still saturated. It's not soluble, it's insoluble. Okay. Magnesium hydroxide looks like this. So what would the expression look like? Magnesium plus two and two hydroxides. What would you expect its KSP value to be? Large or small? Small, small because it's insoluble. Right? Yes. Okay. What would my KSP expression be? Magnesium times hydroxide squared. Square. This is going to be x. This is going to be 2x squared. squared, right? Which is 4x cubed. Okay. Good, good, good. How about I put some of this universal indicator in here? Yeah. Remember this stuff? Yeah. What color do you think it's going to be? Blue. Violet is going to be... Blue, violet. Remember, it goes Roy G. Biv, where the reds are Acid. acids, and the other end of the rainbow is going to be our bases. Okay. So I'm going to just put a little bit in there. Let's see what happens. There we go. So it is kind of a bluish is violet. It What's that? Is it corrosive? Is it corrosive? Very corrosive. I can't hear you. Is it very corrosive? Yes. No, I mean, you drink it. Yeah. So it's just, you know. It's still it's still not something that you know I would wash my face with or anything like that, but it does help when you have heart. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to do something uh, a little bit different. I have right here a lab quest, and it shows me what the pH is. So I'm going to dip my probe in it. Any guesses? Twelve. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Stabilize. Okay, still climbing, still climbing, still climbing. By the way, once I figure out the pH, how does that help me in this problem? You can find OH. You can find OH. And if I know OH, I can figure out X, right? And if I have X, I can figure out KSP. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Ten point four nine. So the pH was ten point four nine. I can subtract that from fourteen, and that will, that will give me what? Which is three point five one. Okay. If I press second log negative number, that'll be my OH. What do you get for that? 3.4 And then what do I need to do to that number? Divide by 2. Divide it in half. And hold on. Divide it in half first. What do you get? 1.5. 1.6. 1.6. Is it 1.65 or is it 1.6? It's like 1.55. So, okay. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4. Four. That is my X. 
So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug it in here, correct? Okay. Somebody plug it in there and cube it and then multiply it by 4. Tell me what you get for your KSP. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 11. Dip this a little bit here. Uh, the next thing I want to do to it, goggles, is I'm going to add some acid to it. Okay? And let's just kind of see what happens here. Well, obviously it's going to go less purple because I'm adding acid, right? And we're, yeah. we're going to the Roy G. Biv. Okay. This, this whole town is trying to go green. Keep going. if you stop it's going to like catch up to it so it looks like it's going back to yellow yeah. 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 so that means I'm still not there yeah. add a little bit Great. more what molar what molar yeah. oh, look at that. there yeah. we go wow. <laughs> alright other than the fact that it turned pink oh, it is clear, isn't it? Yeah. Matter of fact, I don't know from where you're sitting, but I can see the magnet now. I can. Yeah. Okay. That's weird. Why? Let's go back up here. What's going on? You're adding. I'm adding H, which is reacting with who? OH. 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 So I'm taking this out. Therefore, this equilibrium is now shifting this way, and you just said it becomes more soluble. So it's less saturated. It's less saturated, right. So it's clear. Does that make sense? It was over here, insoluble. I added something that took that away, which forced it to go this way to become soluble. All right, so here we go. The solubility of salts containing basic anions increases as hydrogen from acid is added. The more basic the anion, the more soluble it becomes when acid is added. Salts with anions with negligible basicity, it's hard to say, anions of strong acids, obviously, are unaffected by pH. It's a lot to digest. So here we go. This guy right here, is this going to be affected if I add acid to it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it will become more soluble. Okay. Is that guy a base? No. What does he come from? He comes from carbonic acid, which is a weak acid, and therefore that is a conjugate, well not strong, but it's, it's, it's a conjugate base. So will that be affected? Yes. It yes. was yesterday. Yes. Remember carbonate yesterday? We had copper carbonate. I, it was in the big graduate cylinder right here. Mm -hmm. Didn't I add acid to it? Yeah. Okay, didn't it clear up? Yeah. Okay. This guy comes from who? HF. HF, which is a weak acid. So that is a weak conjugate base. base. So will that be affected? Yeah. Yes. yes, it will. That guy HF. comes from who? HCl, which is a strong, strong acid, so that is a freakishly weak conjugate base. So will this be affected? No, because it's uh, an anion of a strong acid. Okay, they are unaffected by pH. What? Can you leave that up for a second? Yeah. Okay. It's in the video. You can always go to the video. This guy right here, 
Who does that come from? H2S. H2S, is that a strong acid? No. No. So that is a weak conjugate base. Will that be affected by adding H? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it will. So the only things that won't be affected by adding acids are anything that has an anion that comes from a strong acid. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so let's see here. Calculate the solubility of manganese 2 hydroxide in grams per liter when buffered at a pH of 7. The KSP value is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13. So let's at least do this. What do we know? Manganese hydroxide is a solid. That's going to give off manganese plus 2 and 2 hydroxides. KSP is going to equal what? Manganese 2 times hydroxide squared. This is going to be X times... 2x squared. squared, okay, which is going to be what? 4x cubed. cubed. And all of that, every single one of these, equals KSP, which they gave me. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13. But I also have some other information there. The pH is 7. See if you can answer this question. I know this guy. It's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13. Can't I figure out that guy? Yeah. If that's 7, then I bet this guy is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, right? Right. So that's the only thing I don't have. So I'm going to call it x. Okay. Solve for it. Okay. So this right here is 16 molar. But that's not the answer. They asked, calculate the solubility of MnOH2 in grams per liter when buffered at a pH of 7. And they want it in grams per liter. This is what? <coughs> Moles per liter. Okay. Isn't that the same thing as 16 moles per one liter? So just convert this to grams. One mole of MnOH2 weighs how many grams? Somebody do that. Multiply that by 16. Six base fourteen hundred grams of MnOH two. All right. Now some of you.